welcome to Gary Vapes. Okay, so this is part two of our HQD tech disposable pod range things. Um, if you didn't watch the video a couple of days ago, we did a review on the Waves, which were these little disposable type ones. Um, but yes, I've got three other ones here as well. And I've only got a few of each rain and then more of the other, so you'll see what I mean. But I've got two of the Milo, which um, if we talk about the Milo first, basically these are thousand puffs. Um, and they've got a built-in battery of 650 milliamp, 7 to 12 watts, they weigh 28 grams, and 20 mil nicotine inside with a 1.6 ohm resistance coil inside. We've also got the Curvy, I think they pronounced Curvy anyway, it's probably another name murdered, but there you go. Uh, 7 to 12 watts, 3.7 volts, 20 milligram, 950 milliamp hour battery, 1.8 ohm coil, and they weigh 45 grams, and they say they have 1,200 puffs. And then we've also got these other ones, which are the Super Pro, which are 7 to, 20, uh, 7 to 12 watts, 3.7 volts, 550 milliamp hour battery, 2 mil in capacity, 20 milligram uh, salts in there, and a resistance of 1.6. So yeah, there's a, a wide range of them. Now, I'm not going to go too much into the um, Curvy and the Milo, but yes, basically you're going to be looking, and they're not cheap at all, the Milos, which are these ones here, you're looking at 799 the Curvy you're looking at 999 um, and then the Super... Super Pro, whoever they bloody were, where much were they? I'll find out them in a second, but uh, yes. Um, right, let's, let's do these two first. We'll get these two other ones out of the way. So yes, these are, let's go for the, mm, what should we go for? Let's go for the, let's go for the Super, no, the Curvy, let's go for the Curvy. So, as you'd expect, a ton of wrapping, but basically we open these up and you will see they are like a bigger version of the Milos. In fact, let me get a Milo out now as well. Mellow, 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 Milo. Something like that. But if we open them up, you'll see. So, there you go. So, one's like short and fat, and the other is tall and skinny. Um, they are both really, really well made, I will say that. In fact, let me just open up one of the Super Pros as well, so we can have a look at that one together as well. So there you go. So these are like a bigger one of that. And then that's a bigger one of all of them, sort of thing. So, yeah, really nice. Now, these are like a metal construction. These feel like proper quality. They really, really do. They feel absolutely lovely. Um, especially the um, Curvy Plus. It really does feel nice. It's got a nice thickness to it. The bottom's got like this sort of triangulated plastic on the bottom. Feels really, really nice. So, yeah, that does feel nice. Now, none of these have got adjustable wear flow, anything like that at all. Um, but let's just give this a go. Now, what I do like about this Curvy as well, they've got some decent flavours in there. So, starting off with Pina Colada. So, let's give this one a go. Plus, as well, you can see that LED around the bottom. It's got like a clear sort of ring around the very, very bottom. And also a little circle on the bottom, which all lights up as you take a puff. Again, auto fire on these are fantastic. That was one of the best things about these waves. Really good build quality and stuff like that, so that is really nice to see. That tastes absolutely fantastic as well, I will say that, it tastes like a pina colada cocktail. Again, the airflow on these are perfect for me. It is restricted, but it is a slight, slight looseness. Now, I'd say it's like a cigarette sort of feel to it, and that's the best way I can describe it. Some people like it really tight. You're not going to get that off this. Some people like it really loose. You're not going to get that either. It's there or thereabouts to with smoking a cigarette type thing. So, for me personally, I think that's a massive, massive plus. But that is really really nice very nice indeed and um, let's try the other one so this is a mojito okay so nice cocktail flavors now as far as flavors goes with these they do a ton of other flavors you'll have to check them out yourself but you will see they do a ton of different flavors and they do some nice flavors as well as i said with the wave ones the only problem with them is they will become very predictable very plain fruity sweet sort of flavors which i'm not a fan of you know out of all the e-liquids we can have in the world, why would you want to limit yourself to boring flavours? So it's nice to see that they're doing this. So let's try this one. Again, airflow, perfect for me. And again, tastes just like a mojito. Really does minty, fresh, 
feels nice there's no sort of masses amount of cooling in there anything like that yeah really nice these feel proper quality as well I will say that they feel very high class um, yeah I like the feel of them so let's have, let's try the Amilos or Mellow whatever you want to call them this one is what flavour was this one it's not actually written on it bear with me let me dig through my bin again so this one is energy drink so I'm assuming this is going to be like a Red Bull type flavour ok these Trip tips are just round, they feel nice in your mouth and everything. These are slightly different, they're kind of like a duck bill stroke round hybrid. They're very weird, they're a duck bill, but they have got a roundness in the middle. They feel odd in your mouth, but they work fantastic, they feel really nice. Wasn't expecting that. Again, you can see the LED, and I like the little H on the bottom. Airflow perfect again, all Wi Fi works really well. Yeah, that, that tastes. To me anyway, which I'm not a big fan of Red Bull, I should say that, that tastes like a Red Bull. Mm, yeah, I like that. Again, quality of build feels absolutely fantastic. That really does feel classy. I like that one. It's almost a shame it's going to be thrown away sort of thing. But what other flavour we got here? This one is blueberry. So this is the Mellow Milo, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, looks fantastic really does. I love the little gold bits around the top as well. Really looks classy. Yeah, them drip tips are weird. They feel odd in your mouth at first, but when you take a pull, it works perfectly. It really does. Okay, I've said this before with blueberry, and I'll say it again. It tastes like blueberry, but blueberry isn't a very strong flavour, quite simply. It just tastes like blueberry. It, it's okay. It, it's nothing to write home about. If you love blueberry, I'm sure you'll like it. Personally, I think out of all the fruits there is, it's one of the worst fruits there is when it comes to vaping. But yeah, there you go. Right, now let's get on to the Super Pros, which is what we're really looking at, I suppose, because they've sent us the most of them. We've got a ton of different flavours of them ones. Um, I should also say... Um, what was it? Um, 19 different flavours they do. Um, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. Um, so there is a few more which we haven't tried. Um, but yes, yeah, so the Milos are $7.99, the Curves are $9.99, and then I'll find out about the Super Pros now. Um, we'll find that out while we try this one. So, yeah, um, let's try this one anyway. So what flavour was this one? I can't even remember, I think this is blueberry as well. Again, I love the fact you can see the LED on the bottom, it lights up on the bottom. It's got a nice sort of, almost like a speaker look to the LED on the bottom, sort of shines through the plastic sort of thing. Again, build quality is fantastic. It uses the same drip tips as the Milos or Milos, whatever you want to call them, which I am a real big fan of. I didn't think I was going to like that. So at first you kind of feel like, ooh, that's odd. You can kind of feel the shape of it, but when you take a pull, it works absolutely fantastic. Now the airflow holes on these are on the side. There's a slight slot there, so you do have to be careful not to cover that. But, yeah. Again, it's very much like the other blueberry. It tastes like blueberry, but it's just not very strong flavour. I'll give it a six. Um, but let's start going through some of these others, shall we? So we've got Rainbow. Trying to find prices is not the easiest thing. Um, but yeah, we'll keep looking as we go. So, yes. Again, they look really, really nice. They really do look classy. I say that all metal sort of build to them. Again, it's almost a shame that they are disposable. But It's kind of a skittle flavour, but not exactly a skittle flavour. It's kind of like a candy flavour, but not quite a candy flavour. That's, that's an unusual one, that one. Whenever I see rainbow, I, I am literally imagining, you know, skittles, quite simply. Um, yeah, it tastes like a fruity candy. Um, I'll give it a 6.5, it's not bad at all. Um, next up, we've got tropical fruit. Um, as far as flavours go, uh, as far as prices go, sorry, um, I am struggling to find any prices on this one. 
So, uh, yeah, I'll keep trying to look, but it might be a case that we uh, can't find a flight at uh, cost. So, hmm, okay. What have we got here then? Let's have a look again. Loads of wrapping. <laughs> they look so good, they really do. They look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, that's very much like that generic cocktail type flavour that we spoke about before, the big jugs. Um, yeah, really nice. I love that flavour. I think it's beautiful. It's like a cocktail flavour. So yeah, that's a seven. We have got fresh berries. So there is some flavours that are the same as the Wave by the looks of it. Um, and again, these have kind of gone down that sort of more traditional disposable vape sort of fruity, sugary flavour. So... It is a shame, I definitely would like to see some more funky flavours going on, but... Yeah, it tastes, as you would imagine, quite simply, um, yeah. It just tastes a bit like berries. Yeah, it's not bad, 6.5. Strawberry? Yeah, I can't find prices on them anywhere, these ones, so whether they're out or not, I do not know. When I go onto the actual HQD's website, it doesn't actually come up. It only shows us the Curve, the Curve Plus, and the Milo. So they do do a Curve as well then, so there must be one in between the Mellow, Milo, whatever you want to call it, and the Curve. Um, in fact, it looks very much like the Wave but slightly different, but it's more that sort of construction. I'll put a picture up now for you to see one, just so you knew. But yes, okay, let's try this one then. So this is just strawberry. That's actually quite a nice strawberry. Yeah, it's a nice sweet strawberry. Got a bit of creaminess to it at the very end. Yeah, that's not bad actually. For just a strawberry, that is quite nice. That's a seven. Nice, strong flavorful airflow fantastic again I say it's the same with the wave build quality of these are absolutely fantastic they really are they're some of the best build quality I've seen with disposable and as I've said it, it's almost a shame you're throwing them away they, these feel like these could be a more of a permanent device but okay Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, it tastes fruity. It's it's quite hard to get excited about these ones, really, because, it, as I said before, it's just a fruit. It's, it's not, it's nothing amazing. It, it just tastes like mixed fruit, quite simply. It's not as nice as the tropical one. It's a bit more heavy, I would say, but yeah, it's not bad. There's a little bit of ice in this one as well, I will say that. Just a little bit, but there is ice in that one. Um, next up we have got Energize, so I'm assuming this is going to be another Red Bull type flavour. Mm, it is, it's kind of a Red Bull flavour, I'd say maybe more of a monster type flavour. Um, it's, it's definitely not as, as good as that other energy we tried, that one really tastes like Red Bull, this one doesn't. Yeah, it's got a bit more of a perfumey flavour to it, I'll give it a six, I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, Apple Crush, okay. That, that does taste like a crushed apple, almost like a, an overripe apple that's been crushed into a, an apple juice sort of thing. That, that's really nice. Mm, that's, that's very nice. That's 7.5. I like that one. I say it's got more of a sort of ripened apple flavour to it. It's not like sugary and all over the top. So mm, I like that one. This one is pink lemonade. So it'd be interesting to see what this one's like. It'd be interesting to see whether. It's like the other ones, whether they're using the same flavours in all of their devices, which you would think they would be, but let's try. 
yeah, that's the same as that one. Beautiful, really, really nice. It's got that sort of sherbet flavour at the very end, which I absolutely love. So initially you get that strawberry flavour, then the lemon, then that sort of sorbet, sherbet-y sort of feel to the end of it. Really nice. Yeah, that's a 7.5. That's an easy 7.5. Banana ice. Okay, so we're getting into the ices now. So banana ice always makes me think it's going to be like a milkshake. Um, <laughs> cold banana. <laughs> About as simple as my brain goes. So let's try this one. Yeah, like a McDonald's milkshake, which I know isn't the best thing in the world, but I absolutely love a banana McDonald's milkshake, and that is very good. Again, the auto fire on these have been perfect on every single one of these I've tried. That's an eight. That's that's the best one I've tried. Um, yeah, build quality is is unbelievable with these things. Really is. I say normally with. Half of these devices I'd get, I'd get ones with issues, even from the best of the ones I've tried. I have not had a problem with any of these, so yeah, really good to see. Um, this one was Blueberry Raspberry. Oh, not a fan of that one. Sometimes with raspberries, I can really get like a an odd thing go on. Like it can either be almost like a wee smell to it or a sicky sort of feel to it. And that is what I'm getting off of this. The, the sicky type thickness, which I, I do not like. Yeah, Ugh, don't like that one at all. I'm gonna give that a three. Um, it's nice and strong. It's just a very unusual flavor. Yeah, it's, it's not for me that one at all. Yeah, made me almost feel a bit sicky. Um, but last one to try, which is probably going to be the worst one, because I'm not a big fan of the flavour, but Golden Tobacco, one of the main reasons I quit vape, uh, smoking was because I didn't like the taste of tobacco. So let's see what it's like anyway, though. I have been fooled before by tobacco, so... It's not actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not as strong as quite a lot of these tobaccos, and it's... It's almost quite nice that it's just a simple tobacco flavour. Quite often now it's stuck in with caramels and vanillas and all this sort of thing, but they haven't. They've kind of kept it quite traditional. So if you're making that change from smoking to vaping, this would kind of make sense. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah, don't actually mind that one. Okay, well that's the end of the review. And yes, again, it's very much like the Waves. Build quality is fantastic. They aren't the cheapest devices. I still can't find anything on the Super Pros as far as costs go. Um, so I really can't tell you. Um, but they aren't the cheapest. But I will say, which is slightly different with the Waves, because for me the Waves, they're expensive for what they are because there's others out there that are very similar to this in build quality and stuff like that. Now internally, they are some of the best I've ever tried. There is no doubt in that. But they do seem a little bit expensive for what they are. Now whether you shop around, you probably can get them cheaper, but from looking, that's what they are, and they do seem a little bit overpriced. I can't really say the same for these. Although these are quite expensive, they feel and look and work fantastically. They really, really do. Now as far as the flavours go, that's down to personal preference as always. Some of these that I don't think are that good, you might absolutely love, and that's brilliant, and, you know, that, that's your prerogative and whatever. So uh, you kind of got to take that with a pinch of salt. We've also got to remember that I am trying a lot of DIY e-liquids, a lot of main manufactured e-liquids, which these can't compete with that. that. That's not what they are. At this particular moment in the disposable vape world, the e-liquid flavours aren't as good as the real thing. It's as simple as that. So you do need to say that in mind as well. Um, but as far as disposables go, then I would highly recommend them, especially the Curvy and the Milo, Milo, whatever you want to call them they feel and work so well they really are high quality stuff and um, don't get me wrong the super pros are very good as well again there are some out there that are very similar to this um, not as good build quality i will say that flavors there may be some out there that are slightly better um, but either way i would i would definitely recommend them it comes down to cost i mean do you want to pay as much as they are for what they are i mean as i said before it's almost a shame that they are disposable because they are built to the highest quality of of almost a, a proper mod, a proper pod type thing. So yeah, it comes down to cost. If, if you're not worried about the cost, then yeah, I would highly recommend them. If you're worried about the cost, there is cheaper alternatives out there. But I will say, out of all of these I've tried, I have not had one technical issue with 
any of them in any slight way, shape or form, which is phenomenal, quite simply, because every other make I've ever, ever tried, I've had issues with. It's as simple as that. So, yeah, it, it comes down to cost, as always. That's all I can really say. Do you want to pay that much for something that you're going to throw away? That's up to you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. And I'll see you again soon.